Good evening. My name is Maria Lorenz and I live here in Elizabeth. I understand that today the Elizabeth Special Services Department was recognized here by the Union County Freeholders and I want to be able to share some facts with you about our Special Services Department. We have the lowest classification rate when it comes to similarly sized districts. One in 36 children are diagnosed with autism. Elizabeth doesn't even hit 13%, it's actually 12.3% classification rate when compared to other similarly sized districts like Patterson, even Newark, which is a bigger district, classifies at a higher level than Elizabeth does. There have been countless complaints about a non-functioning CPAC, a CPAC that only exists on paper and is actually a law that there should be a CPAC that addresses systemic issues that affect special needs parents. There have been systemic issues that have not been addressed, bylaws that conflict from the CPAC, bylaws that were created that conflict with the policy of the board. And a Union County manager, uh, Mr. Darrell Palmieri, who chooses to not do anything about it, okay? Uh, those concerns from parents and other parent members in the community have fallen on his very deaf ears. A district that instead of working collaboratively, rather be litigious and pay over six figures to an attorney. As a mother, I actually had to take this district to court. In court, in mediation, and on a settlement, a verbal settlement, I took the district's word that they were gonna offer my child a program. They didn't. I was left to resolve and find that program myself. I hired one of the teachers in Elizabeth to actually deliver that program to my child and I paid her out of my own pocket. When I came back to the district with the bill, they laughed. They said they would not pay me. I ended up taking the case to small claims court in an effort to try to resolve the issue because they were being just absolutely bullheaded about it. The district spent $450 to obtain a federal docket number and put me in federal court. Just some background for you. So that's taxpayer dollars for a $2,500 program that could have easily, a check would have been cut, it would have been okay. But we paid 450 and we paid Varity over $10,000 to fight me in court. Guess what, I won. I got my $2,500. The district had to pay my attorney fees and the taxpayer was out paying Varity his fee. Did that make sense? But those are the people you honored here today. And that's just me. There's not that many parents like me in Elizabeth, but I'm a start. In addition to that, we had a teacher by the name of doctor. Her name was Dr. Luann Breeze, who came to the district as a doctorate, she achieved her doctorate here. She spoke out about the illegal activities that were going on on the children's individualized educational plans. She spoke out and got retaliated against. They, Elizabeth Public Schools created a hostile work environment and eventually she ended up in constructive discharge and having to leave her duties and the children that she serviced because she refused to sign IEP saying that services were provided to children that were not being provided to those parents. See, a functional CPAC would have addressed that too. But we don't have one in Elizabeth. And we haven't had one in six years. And actually, there's a former member of that Elizabeth CPAC sitting in this room today that can attest to that. There was, she also complained about certified staff that did not have the proper credentials. So in addition to that, I want to let you know that this illustrious district has carried over $1.5 million of federal IDEA funding that was never spent on our special needs kids. Our kids need help. You should look to yourself and your conscience and do your research before you start commending people that actually don't deserve it. Ms. Lorenz, I just wanna make one um, comment of reference to that. It's not the Union County Manager. You mentioned it's Union County Superintendent. Just wanna yeah. clarify for that, yeah. Yeah, it was the Union County Superintendent. 